Welcome back to the next installment of the Princess Auto Flyer. And this is for August 6th to the 18th. Well, what have we got in store today? Well, starting off with pressure washer. Pressure washer. Oh, cable ties, nylon. Uh, good for indoors, not for outside. Don't use white ones outside. They'll deteriorate in the UV. You need to get the, the black fellers. They have UV resistant stuff in them. Uh, anywho, so what else we got here? Ooh. They have one of those on sale. I've been wanting to get one of those for my uh, travel trailer. I don't know what rating one I should get though. That's probably fine. Oh, I see how they work. It hooks into that guy. I kind of wondered how they'd work. Although if you don't have your truck or anything close, how do you... I guess it's got a manual crank override, it says. So that's actually a pretty good price, but uh, not going to not gonna do it right now. 21-piece, three-quarter inch jumbo socket set. That's a pretty good price. 10, 10 millimeter to 55 millimeter and 7 eighths to 2 inch. I don't usually do huge stuff like that, so don't really need that. But we got a fairly fairly beefy flyer this week. They must have heard me last week and said, oh man, this one's kind of skinny. What do we got on this page? Go behind disc arrow again. I wonder how well those will work. You'd have to load up the top here with some kind of blocker or something. Give her more push down. Because normally that would just ride up over top. Ooh, seats. Big hay forks. Manure forks. Nice. They still got these guys that digging, digging holes. Boy, the uh, the auger bits are worth a worth a lot. Two hundred and fifty bucks for a twelve inch. Wowie. <clears throat> That's a fair bit. Ooh, from dusk till dawn, lights. Eighteen hundred lumens. That's a pretty good price too. Nice. Very nice, very nice. I got some shooting things and hmm, mini moto wood fuel cook stove. Very interesting. <clears throat> That's neat. Jumping jack, or sorry, plate tamper, not jumping jack, plate tamper. That's pretty good. Garden carts and some wheel barrels. Oh sure, now they put these on sale. I think I paid like 40 something for mine. Yeah, 40 bucks. <clears throat> oh well, that's all right. They work good. That's for tying down the big tractor on the trailer. I actually do need to maybe get some new chain. Because our... Uh, yeah, they do have a chain there too. Ooh, galvanized grade 30. Nice. Uh, I have to think about that. The uh, MTO guys here, the Ministry of Transportation, if they pull you over to see kind of a rusty chain, they kind of don't really like that. <coughs> Even though that probably doesn't hamper the structural strength of the chain, but... Anyways, what do we got here? Wiring. PVC insulated trailer wires. Nice. It's trailer section, I guess. I don't really need trailer stuff. More trailer stuff actually wouldn't mind getting one of these. Well, I can't seriously cut the metal and stuff for that. I need something on the back of our travel trailer to uh, put the spare tire on. I think that would be a good idea. But I'd have to put a cover on it too though because the sun would rot it out, right? Then you go to use it and the tire's no good. Some air stuff, air tools. That big huge compressor, remember the one we got? That one's bigger yet. That's the biggest one they sell. That's a three phase. Three phase power, 10 horsepower, electric motor, cast iron, oil lubricated, two cylinder pump. And it is um, 33 CFM at 175 PSI. That's like huge air. Huge air. I can't tell you the specs now of mine, but I think mine's like 26 or 27 CFM at 175. It's a little lower than this guy, but gosh, that was a huge power. And we got some some tools. If you need tools, we've got tools on sale. And some diagnostic-y tools. 
20 foot 4 gauge booster cables. Some of these shop tools sitting your butt things on. Pretty handy. Wow, these things are still expensive enough. 15 bucks for a USB charging thing. They're pretty handy though. They do work pretty good. Lightning cables. And then you plug it in and it says, this accessory may not be supported. Yeah, no doubt. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. That is a really good deal, but don't ever buy batteries that way. These things would last you probably about three minutes a piece, and maybe, and that's it. And then you'd be through, you know, just buy good batteries. That's all I can say about batteries. Those batteries are not good. Ooh, six inch. Ooh, nice. LEDs, 10 inch. What is that? Little, little MIG welder. Wow, that thing's cute. He's so cute. And a solder, soldering gun. Soldering gun. Soldering. I call it solder. Some people call it solder. Soldering. That is how it's spelled, but. Oh my goodness. Ooh, more guns and, and crossbows. And cart thingies. Don't really need those, I don't think. Basketball nets. Ooh. Camping things. What is that? Inflatable couch. Huh. Who would have thought, eh? Inflatable couch. I'm getting a bit of glare off my light here. That's not good. Ooh. Soxy oxyacetylene cart. That's a pretty good one. I like mine because it's got the handle up like this. So that would be... Eh, I don't know. Oh, I think we're halfway done. More trailer things. Locks and stuff. Oh, there's one of those things where you fill it up with air, and it goes Psh! to blow the tire up that you're having a tough, tough time with a bead with. Oh, that's neat. Heat shrink tubing tube. Huh, clever. Instead of having them all over the place, I got boxes of them, and they just kind of go all over the place. There, there's the one, the UV one. That's what you want, them good ones. They're good ones. More air compressor stuff. I'm pretty good for air. Some air tools, die grinders and stuff, spray guns, air tool power. They've got some uh, some metal there too, but it's fairly kind of chintzy stuff, not really good. Heavy duty stuff that I like to use for stuff. There's a bunch of those uh, torque limiting, put on your gun and it's brrrr, only goes so far. They're pretty handy. Oh look, we're on page 29. Just to let you know. Pallet jacks. And, uh, well, I got an older cart. I didn't pay that much for it when I bought mine. <laughs> That's a while ago now, mind you. But some shelving. Extens flexible extension bar sets. Cool, I've never had one of them before. That may be kind of interesting. Those fellers. Mirrors. Finger ratchet set. I have used one of those, but I don't know any of them. They're kind of different. You get to sit there and until it gets too tight. But. Dead blow hammers. Pex stuff and some hatchet stuff. Pretty neat. Center punch. Some clipper cutting guys. Aviation snips. Got one pair of them. Pretty handy tool. Boy, not much on here. Metal detector. Power fist. Metal detector. Well, I wonder how well it works. Probably pretty good. Digital laser and contact tachometer. I did have something like that once and it never did work. I don't know, maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. Yep, 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 yep. Not too much on there. A couple of fans. Mower blades. Some more blades. Some more lights and fans. And straps. Got lots of them. I am good for strapping. Oh, hydraulic oil. I wonder if they poured that back into the jug and then sealed it up and sold it. <laughs> Bet you they did too. 
sneaky. Open drip proof electric motors. Nice big huge winch there. It's all right. And yep, we usually end up in hydraulic stuff. And that is about it. Clear lens metalworking giggles. Sweet. I need some of those for the slingshot. Oh, might have to go down there. Those generators. First bit of generator I've seen in here. And that's it. Last but not least. Well, that's it for... Ooh, I actually like that table. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Anyways, that is it for your August 6th to the 18th Princess Auto Flyer. Thanks again for watching. Catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.